Hey guys, what's up? This is Ethical here. Today I'm gonna be talking about Battlefield 3. I'm gonna be talking about is it worth buying? Now, as I said in title, it's worth buying. Now before I start, I'm gonna say this is my second ever commentary, so I hope this is better than last time. Because last time I was horrible. Last time I was like doing a live commentary and I was stuttering, I wasn't doing it right, but because I was actually playing at the same time and I'm mostly quiet and paying attention to the game and I want to talk about. Now today I hope I am better to do now. I hope so. And if you want to see my my video how horrible I did, you can go to my channel and check it out. You can just find the, the Call of Duty commentary, whatever. Now you can also hit some likes on my other videos if you want. You can also subscribe to my videos if you want, of course. But back to this game, back to what we're watching right now. Now, before we start I must say, I must say right there. Yes, this game is worth buying. I'm gonna talk about why it's worth buying. Now, three things. Of course, it is campaign, co-op, and the most important multiplayer. Now, talk about multiplayer, multiplayer because I have not been in the campaign for Battlefield 3, so I can't judge Battlefield 3 the campaign or the co-op. I'm only gonna be talking about multiplayer. Now, multiplayer. This, if you're a cop player like me, because I'm mostly a cop player, uh, this is my first battlefield, except for 1943, which of course it is not my kind of game. It's only three maps, only three classes with three weapons only, and it's not my kind of game. It's just not my kind of game. It's just, it's just not. This game is different. This game is so my game. This game is different. And I'm a cop player. I'm a, I'm a mostly a cop as a Call of Duty player. And I like this game a lot. I mean, a lot. Now, I'm talking about the battlefield, the weapons, and that's the work. Now, um, let's talk about the weapons. The weapons, there's like, of, of course, assault. There's engineer, and there's for the sniper and machine gun class. I don't know, I don't know what they called, but they give you, of course. Um, I know that the engineer for the Russian side, they give you the AK, um, AKS um, 74U. And for the assault, they give you the AK-74 heavy. Now my favorite is the AK AKS-74U. It's my favorite. It's like small, it's steady, and it's just right for me. Um, now this is the thing about weapons. You, you should know this if you're a Call of Duty player. Is that when you level up, you don't unlock weapons right away and stuff like that. Let's say you play. Let's say you play assault. You play. You play with the AK, AK-74M or whatever, and you, you use it a lot, you level up that weapon, and you unlock attachment switch, and you, le um, you unlock other weapons for that class. So this is not like you, you level up, I don't, I'm not really sure about this, but you level up and you unlock this or that or this and that, or whatever class you want to use, as you know. This is about, you use the result, you, un you, un you only unlock result. Weapons when you use assault. You use engineer, you use, you will knock engineer weapons when you use engineer and so on with the sniper. Of course you will use a sniper. You will knock the sniper for class only and the machine gun too. So this is not the same as Call of Duty. This you have to use the other weapons in order to unlock all of them. You have to use machine and the assault just to actually just unlock those weapons. It makes you have to use this weapon even though you don't want to, if you want more weapons. Then use the engineer, which I use a lot, and the assault. Um, you unlock attachments like a light, you attach a scope, you attach this and that, and so on and so on. And it just, it, it, it makes the game better. Um, but if you want if you want a scope, on the say the assault, and you're using an engineer, you unlock it for the engineer. You want for assault, you have to use the assault too. You have to just use the assault. Just to um, unlock the scope for the assault, you have to use the assault. Now, it's different. And leveling is way harder. It's not like Call of Duty, which is a little bit easier. But this is way harder. This is like a, until level 100. This game is just hard to reach. I'm like in level right now. Right now, if this, this video is also right now. I'm like in level 6. In this video, I think I'm in level 4. And this leveling is really hard. Just, just letting you know. But this game has the best controls, the best mechanics for controls ever. Even though I'm a Call of Duty player. I actually been playing this game a lot. So much that when I went back to Call of Duty, I was actually hitting 
I was hitting the R3 button just to crouch. It was actually knifing. I was like, what? What am I doing? Oh, I was knifing because it's supposed to use the circle button to crouch, but in, in Battlefield, you use the R3 button to crouch. So I was like, oh my god, I'm paying too much coke for Battlefield, which is a good thing. Now, now I'm going to talk about um, the gameplay, um, the game types, more likely. There is there is Rush, Conquest, Team Deathmatch, Squad Team Deathmatch, Squad Team Deathmatch, I don't know if there's anything else. Now, uh, of course, Rush, you have to, I think, in, either, in one side, you have to, um, you have to put a bomb or fuse something to on A and B, your team has to defuse it, and so on, so it won't get destroyed. Um, in Conquest, there's like different areas you're supposed to capture, just like Domination on Call of Duty. It's kind of, kind of like Domination, and like that. There's Team Deathmatch, of course, Team Deathmatch, you know what it is. But if you play Team Deathmatch or Squad Team Deathmatch, no, 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 just Team Deathmatch, my bad, just Team Deathmatch. You don't use the vehicles, you only use, you just use the guns, like you, don't, you don't have vehicles, and then that is much smaller. Now, Squad Team Deathmatch, I have not played that game, so. But my friend told me that it is you can use uh, you can use vehicles. I was like, really? But I've not played it, so I cannot tell you. Now, now I'm talking about the battlefield, the map itself. Each map has uh, buildings, has vehicles. Um, it's different for me. It's a bigger map. Than what Call of Duty is not that. Battlefield is a bigger map. Two, the the buildings, the walls are destructible now. You can destroy them. So no more you have to go into that door, the back door. That's old school. Now you can just grab a rocket launcher and blow up that wall. So this way, I we like that because now you can get rid of those campers who are always camping in a building or so. You just destroy the wall so no more camping. Yeah, I really I like that. Now let me talk about... Secured. Let's see, I already covered um, weapons. I covered the battlefield, which is the map. Um, the leveling up I already covered. Now I'm gonna be talking about, let's say, campaign. Actually, no, I'm talking about the uh, vehicles on Call of Duty. Of course, there's a tank, there are cars, there are helicopters, and there's a new jets. I have not tried jets, so I cannot judge by the jet. Um, helicopters, let me just give you a warning it is hard to uh, handle if you're not. For the first time, it is really hard to handle. For me, it was I crashed so many times. It was like, oh my god, I'm crashing so many times. It's just not cool. But um, you did use a tank, which is cool. I used a car, which is cool. Now, these vehicles are okay, it's better for me because if we get from point A to point B, there is boats, of course, which I forgot to mention. Um, I only use boats on one map. And I have actually just drove, drove from the ship to the battlefield. Now, now we're talking about a campaign. I cannot judge on campaign. I cannot say if it's good or bad. So I haven't beaten it. I only played the beginning of it. I'm still around the beginning. So I cannot judge it. But I will tell you what other people said. IGN, Machinima, GameStop said that the pain was a bad thing. It was, they said it was not original. It wasn't new. It was just not there for them. You know, it was just, it was like, ugh. So I cannot I cannot judge on to the beginning which is cool. The beginning is cool, but I haven't beaten it to actually tell you. Now they say that the can the multiplayer only by itself can actually worth the price of the call. Which I think it is something cool. I mean well no, I mean battlefield, my bad. Battle it is worth battlefield three. Now it is by multiplayer only it is worth it. So um, so we're, yes, it, now I'm talking about co-op. Co-op, not played it, so I can't judge you. But I think it is just campaign with just two players. Campaign with two players, or four players, I don't know how many players. Just, I guess two, that's what I'm guessing. I guess that's fun. It's more fun to just single player campaign. So I guess I'll be, I'll be right good. Now, more than talking about multiplayer, I already gave you the weapons, statics, I already gave you the... The battlefield, the maps, the vehicles. Now, I had a, an amazing time playing the game. This game is fun. It is fun. It, it's more with friends. The friends are fun. Thank you a lot. Now, I'm a, for me, this game is so worth it. So worth buying. 
I don't believe you already, you already don't uh, own it. I don't believe you don't own it already. Because I believe that's already out. You must own it by now. Because the game is amazing. It is amazing. And it is worth buying. Just letting you know. This game is worth buying. Just multiplayer choice. Just it. That's it. Just multiplayer choice. It's so only for multiplayer. It's already worth it. And you also have a campaign. And you have co-op. So yeah. You also have stats to follow and so on. So it's pretty much awesome. You have future DLCs coming out. So <clears throat> yeah. Now about the DLC. Now. If you are on the Xbox. I guess you have to wait a week after it's released. Because PlayStation is getting the DLC for every Battlefield 3 game early. A week early. So. Of course. You guys. Of Xbox owners has um keep saying Call of Duty. I mean Battlefield. Battlefield Battlefield gets a DLC early for PS3. And you guys, the Xbox PC owners, get um Call of Duty a month earlier for Xbox. So for Xbox. Five. So there's no much that you can, you can tell about that. I own both systems, of course. I own the PS3 and the Xbox. I even own the Wii and the, and the this is the new 3DS, which I've never played, by the way. Um, I don't have Call of Duty for the Xbox. I have for the PS3. And the reason is because my friends. That's the most important. When you own it with friends, it's way more fun. Of course, I still have friends on Xbox, but not much. I still play Call of Duty on Xbox, but I play Call of Duty and other PS3 exclusives like Uncharted 3, Uncharted 2 and 3 which is coming out, and Infamous 2, Killzone, I play that, and that, and the new Batman Aqua City game, play that on my PS3. So, now I'm getting off topic right now. Yeah, um, I was talking about, yeah, DLC is for, DLC you get it early for PS3, and for Xbox, you get it a week, just a week, so it's not that big of a deal. Oh, by the way, I hate the part where you have two CDs, one for campaign and co-op, and one for multiplayer for the Battlefield 3. Um, um, that makes me feel like it's better for the PS3, because not only do you get it a week early to DLC, you'll see it just one disc. So you're going to have to switch this week if you want to play campaign and multiplayer. Now, if you're an Xbox, if you only own an Xbox, this doesn't make a deal. It's just two CDs, of course. You can, this game is still the game. The same thing, it is fun. So whatever system you own, either it's PS3, Xbox, or PC, you can own PC, of course, whatever, um, you get it, whatever. So for me, I had two consoles, PS3 and Xbox, and I chose it for Xbox One, my friend online, and they're gonna get this game. Two, it's fun. Two, uh, uh, DLC, uh, D DLC a week early, one CD, and it's just fun. It is just fun. So I recommend buying this game. I recommend picking it up and checking that out. And this is coming from a Call of Duty player, so it's a big thing. I'm still a Call of Duty player. I'm not switching my I'm not switching to Call of Duty Battlefield because I have both games and just have both games. But I'm having a little a lot of fun with this. Now I'ma let you watch this video. Thanks for watching, check out my channel, thumbs up if you like it, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Adios, or goodbye, or whatever. Later.